my my Verizon guy, Brody Schultz. You know, if you guys need a new cell phone carrier, switch to Verizon. Switch to Verizon now. new construction do you get flats I swear every other time I drive around new construction I get a flat super annoying um, that video that I put out on Northwest 181st Street I'm pretty sure I picked up a flat off of it super annoying Okay, um, I'm pretty sure this thing can record while I'm charging. I hope so. If you don't have a tire changing store around you and it's a weekend, don't forget Walmart. Walmart always has a tire changing place open. Gotta go get some gas now and go. Oh, look, they have zero turns here. I'm not going to waste time looking at that. I've got to get to work. Um, <laughs> dang it. I wonder if those are Bradleys. Uh, I want a Bradley stand-on mower. That's what I want. But there's a big difference between wants and needs. And right now, I don't need it. So, you know what the saying is. Want in one hand and fill in the blank in the other See which one fills up first. It's such a crude, crude saying. So, all right. This morning, uh, updating some files, some pendings, some closed, doing all that. Super thankful for all the business we've got going on. I think the guy that worked on my car was extremely short. The seat, I was up on the steering wheel like a race car driver. Uh, I'm short. So, but I like to relax while I drive too because I drive all the time. So, um, I know I say this, but I really mean it. My wife is awesome. She is amazing. Yeah, just paperwork today. Uh, working with some sellers on straightening out some listing times for the photo shoot and things of that nature. And, yeah, just... Yeah, regular stuff. You never know what you're going to come across in real estate. I, uh, you just, you just never know. Like, like, wow, there used to be a, a step there. When you have good communication with everyone, that's the key. That's the key thing. Just have good communication with everyone. Especially if you're a title company. Still trying to get a settlement statement for a property that scheduled to close at 9 a.m. in the morning. 9 a.m. But I don't know if it's going to close. I don't think it's going to close at 9 a.m. I, I don't. Like the closing disclosure was issued on Thursday and signed. And then the lender did not get the instructions to the title company until until Friday but I'm helping the seller I don't need instructions for the seller side settlement statement and I've been asking for this settlement statement since Wednesday Wednesday so if I'm asking a title company as a real estate agent you could do the seller side settlement state without instructions. You could call it preliminary, you know, rough estimate. You're not going to be that far off in your numbers. If anything, it's just going to make the seller more money if the terms up to are used in the closing cost. So you'll you'll just end up making the seller happier on a preliminary settlement statement for a title company. And it's Sunday. I asked for it starting five days ago. Still don't have it. And closing schedule.
scheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I should already have that statement. It, it takes me, as a listing agent, as a real estate agent, five minutes to put a cost sheet together. Five minutes. And I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not being negative. Because there's no reason to ever be negative in life. I'm stating facts. There's a big difference in stating facts and stating the situation and being negative. Not mentioning any names. Never will I mention names. That's disrespectful. But will I do much business there? I already don't. I've already had interesting experiences with this particular closer. So I I won't actually do business there unless um, um, my hand is forced by the buyer. Uh, so anywho, gonna get some gas. Gonna do some mowing. It's 315. I did not start out the day like I wanted. I, I, I needed I needed to catch up on paperwork. I needed to deposit some checks from last week. You know, God's blessed us. We've had 38 closings so far this year where our customers are amazing. Everyone that I'm working with, uh, the associates that I work with, the transaction coordinator that I work with, you know, my, my Verizon guy, Brody Schultz, you know, if you guys need a new cell phone carrier, switch to Verizon. Switch to Verizon now. I got two phones, and I didn't even pay for them. I got two phones that I'm financing. I got $400 cash back, and I have unlimited talk, text, and data. I did not have unlimited talk, text, and data. I had I owned my own phones out, and for the same price, I get all two brand new phones, unlimited call text to data plus four hundred dollars back. That I want. like that's a no brainer. Like if you guys are definitely need to shop around, Verizon is very competitive, and I have service in more places with Verizon than I did. I mean, come on, no brainer. All right, guys, I'm gonna get some gas, and uh, I'll do a time lapse on the way to the old house to mow it. I'm going to do a deep clean on the tile, the carpet, the cap countertops, stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next clip. Josh, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, Paramount. You're thinking about buying or selling some property in the whole state of Oklahoma. Call me. If it's not in an area that I serve, I know people there that will treat you right. 405-315-7965. 405-315-7965. Three one five seven nine six five. Have a great day. Okay, um, was not able to mow as much as I wanted today on the old house. Uh, the wife just called a little Abby's teething, and uh, you know, with baby's teething, it's um, it's hard. It's really, really hard when babies are teething. So uh, Red's being kind of a pill. So uh, I'm gonna go home and help her out. out there know immediately what happened my spindle got tied up 
and my motor died. And the reason I say that is I've got a new ringtone and I gotta adjust this when I get home to something better uh, that you can't hear. You can't really hear unless unless it's quiet. You know, it's a nice peaceful office ringtone. It's not a ringtone for when you're mowing. So if I hadn't hit that, which I know I shouldn't have, and if I hadn't been messing with it, trying to get it out of this mower spindle, I wouldn't have heard Aubrey call. And without without doing that, without God stopping that mower like he did, I wouldn't have known that I need to go home and help my wife. So just another example, you know, like the Bible's not enough, right? But there's another example in history. The, the Bible correlates with history. Don't don't listen to mainstream archaeologists. They're they're led by Satan. They're nut jobs. History shows the uh, the Bible. So um, yeah, just crazy. So I'm gonna go home help her right now. I gotta answer a couple questions for Paula. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I will chat with you guys on the next clip.